Hey guys, I'll try to make this as quickly as possible. So, we're starting here in this website, which is linked below. Just following the instructions, if you don't have a Google Cloud account, you'll have to create one. You get a free trial, which lasts a year, or $300 credits, whichever you hit first. $300 worth of credits is plenty enough for now. Later on, we can set it up on our own computer, but this is a good way to start. So I'm just starting here in the VM instances pages. I'm already logged in. I'm already ready to go. So I click create. And then here we name our instance. I'm going to call it testnet test. You choose your zone that you're going to have the computer. I'm just going to set it up in Australia for now. That's where I'm from. You can choose the type of machine small is the least we can have micro doesn't work with this at the moment then you want to choose the boot disk click change here you want to make sure that it's ubuntu 16.04 don't worry about anything down here and just click select next up we want to click allow full access to all cloud apis and in file we click allow https traffic and allow HTTP traffic. After that, we click create and Google will begin to create our virtual machine. It'll take a little bit here and then once it's done, we'll continue on. Okay, now that it's all done, it's got a green tick here. You just wanna click this SSH button here. This'll open up a new window and you'll start to get set up in the terminal. This will take just a moment. Now that we've loaded, we've got a couple of things we're gonna to need to type into this terminal. So to start, we need to type sudo apt get update. This one doesn't take too long. After that, we've typed sudo apt get upgrade. Pardon my type. This one will take a little bit longer. Just type Y and enter for any other questions. Okay, now it's done. After this, we want to install Java Oracle 8. To do this, we start with sudo add apt repository pda web upd8 team slash java. Press enter. Okay. Next up, we're going to type again sudo apt get update. Now this is important, you do have to do it a second time. It will link a couple of things that the next command needs. This next command is sudo apt get install oracle dash java 8 dash installer. Now this process is usually a lot more painful, but thankfully there are some nice people that have set up scripts that make this quick and easy. Click OK. Enter to yes and wait for it to finish. Okay, now that it's done, we want to clone into the Javatron folder from GitHub. So we type sudo git clone and then the website for the GitHub repository. Press enter. This won't take too long. Next up, we want to move into the Javatron folder. And here is where we build our testnet, sudo dot slash gradle w build. Press enter. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, so once this is all done, it will say failure build failed with an exception. Uh, this is fine. It works. <laughs> Don't ask questions. After that, we want to run the node. So I just type sudo dot slash gradle w run this time. Enter. Once it's running, it will just be constantly flying past with information. This is what it looks like. That's when you know it's working. Now, this is just a normal node. You can also run a witness node. So if you type control C, it will stop that whole process. We do it again, just press the up button and then add dash p witness and that will run a witness node. 
We'll just take a moment to start up. There is one final thing we want to do here, and this is to make sure that the server can keep running even if we close this screen here. So, you want to start out by making sure you have screen installed with sudo apt-get install screen. Now, I already have it installed, so it doesn't do anything. Then, you just want to simply type screen. If you take into this window, you want to run your command. So we'll hop back into the Java Tron folder. We'll sudo dot slash gradle w run. We'll make it a witness node. That'll do its things. Then we're just going to type control A and control D. And that will hop us out of the screen. Now, if we just type screen dash ls, it'll show us the screens that are there. And we can see, all good. That screen is running. If we do screen, that is one too many E's, screen dash R, we can resume and see what's going on in here. So I'm going to type control A, control D one more time. We can close this window and safely know that our node is still running perfectly fine.